So hair chemistry. So we've talked about hair biology and skin biology. Now we're going to just talk a little bit about the chemical makeup of hair. So um, human hair is basically what we call a chemical compound and it has proteins, which is designed to feed and make the hair nice and hard. It has lipids, which is a fancy word for oils and waxes. It has water, trace elements and pigments. But within the hair, there are bonds and molecules. So a molecule, many molecules joined together are what we call bonds. And there are four main bonds that we talk about within hairdressing. And these bonds will change depending on what kind of service is happening in the hair. So the first bonds that we're going to talk about are the peptide bonds. And these are responsible for keeping the hair together. If you were to damage somebody's hair with lots of hair color chemicals and all of that, this is where the peptide bonds would be broken and thus for the hair would be destroyed. So at no point do us hairdressers want to go in and break those peptide bonds. They're integral for the hair's integrity. However, the next set of bonds are what we call hydrogen bonds. And these are broken by water and heat. So once the hair has been wet and then heat styled, these bonds are broken and once they're hardened in its new style, that's when the hair will stay in its new shape. So hydrogen bonds are responsible for our change that happens when we do blow drying, setting or thermal kind of work. Then the next bonds that we're going to talk about are our ionic bonds and these are a salt bond and they're responsible for the hair's strength. So salt is about giving hair its strength and these ones are broken by pH changes. We will discuss pH a little bit later down the track. It's all about breaking the hair and breaking it down, but not to making it break off. Without pH changes, you won't have any changes within bonds. So the ionic bond is a salt bond and it's about pH changes. The last bond that we're going to talk about is a disulfide bond. And this is a bond that's broken by chemical processes. This is responsible for the hair's elasticity and strength. If you break a disulfide bond right down to the point where it can't be rebuilt, the hair will obviously become destroyed. However, when you're dealing with chemical straightening, perming and some color services, this bond needs to be broken and reformed again. So those are the four bonds in the hair. So we've got the peptide, the hydrogen, the ionic, and the disulfide bonds.